Hey, welcome back, folks. Jay Reno here, continuing StarCraft Mass Recall. StarCraft Brood War Remake and StarCraft II. So we're heading into the penultimate mission of Rebel Yell. 76% complete seems a little low for there be only being two missions left, so there might be a slight miscalculation with that number. All right, New Gettysburg. So I selected this mission in the Mass Recall options to be a city tile set as opposed to the original space platform tile set just because I think the city is a little more fitting. I did see someone comment that there's a slight bug with some of the with some of the building doodads where you can walk through some of them. I'll keep an eye on that, but I just think that this was too neat to to pass up and not try. I've picked up several dozen Protoss warships descending upon Tarsonis. They seem to be heading on a direct course to the primary Zerg hive. If they engage the Zerg, the Confederates may escape. Commander, send Lieutenant Kerrigan with a strike force to engage the Protoss. Captain Raynor and General Duke will stay behind with the command ship. First you sell out every person on this world to the Zerg. Then you ask us to go up against the Protoss. And you're gonna send Kerrigan down there with no backup? I have absolute confidence in Kerrigan's ability to hold off the Protoss. This is bullshit. Kerrigan, are you reading this? I heard. I'm going down there. Arcturus knows what he's doing. I can't back out on him now. Funny. I never thought of you as anyone's martyr. You know what's really interesting, because I assume Tassadar is in command of this Protoss fleet that's coming at us right now, is because he's not willing to just incinerate worlds without trying to at least help the Terran first. Uh, because he's not willing to just nuke everything to get rid of the Zerg on Tarsonis, uh, he's kind of setting up, well, it's not really him, but it sets a lot of things in motion. New Gettysburg, Tarsonis. Why are you doing this, Kerrigan? Look, I know about your past. I mean, I've heard the rumors. I know you were part of those experiments with the Zerg that Minx came and saved you. But you don't owe him this. Hell, I saved your butt plenty of times. Jimmy, drop the knight in shiny armor routine. It's just sometimes. Alright, here we go. So, you know, this is the first map where we can make battle cruisers. So I'm thinking we're gonna make battle cruisers. I did that when I played this map the first time, and I, I think it's fun. I think battle cruisers are fun. I don't plan on making mass tier 3 air too frequently. Uh, only probably once a campaign, maybe twice, depending on how things go. But I just, I don't particularly care for that style of play. I think it's boring, so I don't plan on doing too much of it. Let's go and get our refinery. So it seems like we have even less space than we did in the original game, the original StarCraft 1 map here. Uh, normally your refinery was significantly farther away from your command center, but I kind of like this. It just makes it a little easier not having to deal with that kind of crap. Uh, but the Zerg are going to attack us from the upper left. Nice touch that there's a big confederacy flag right there. And uh, the Protoss will attack us from both sides down here. So we just have to be prepared to defend multiple sides of our base. Uh, that's why I'm probably going to try to rush to siege tanks. I don't think we're going to have to worry too much about enemy air attacks until a little bit down the line. But, again, I don't remember this too much from when I played Mass Recall. But in the original, there are scout attacks that come from over here and mutilisk attacks that come from over here. So the Zerg, unfortunately, we can't do anything about their size of attacks because we can't destroy any of the Zerg buildings at all. So that means we can't whittle away their production to stop them from attacking us, unfortunately. We're just, we just have to deal with this. Uh, I'm going to move my barracks just a little bit. It's a little too close to the entrance here, and I'm going to set up some bunkers and siege tanks, so i got to give myself a little bit more room. I already built this machine shop, so I guess I'm just stuck with this factory here, whether I like it or not. All right, so as in the past, I plan on Kerrigan uh, being very, very important to either my base defense or the attack 
or both. Probably just defense because I'm going to be doing mostly an air attack. Now, here's the issue with going mostly mostly air, is it's going to take longer than it needs to take, that's for sure. If you rush to tier 3 air, that means you have to set up your defenses and be very secure in your defenses, then you start making your battle cruisers and worrying about upgrades and stuff, so this is going to take even longer than it needs to. But, again, I like I liked doing the mass air once or twice, uh, any more than that, I think it's, it's getting a little boring, and I don't particularly care to do it on the final missions either, because the final missions are meant to be super challenging, and you can just nullify most challenge by going tier 3 air. An interesting point on that, though, is I would really highly encourage people to go and uh, and listen to my interview that I had with Talonil back when, uh, I think this is the building you can walk through, uh, the interview that I, I had with Talonil back when I played through the... Uh, Master Recall my, my first time because he talks about how he he programs the AI specifically to account for knowing that players are going to try to go mass air. If you give them the opportunity to make mass air, they're going to do it. And so he he particularly tries to handle that in, in different ways, which I thought was really interesting. Again, I would really encourage you to go and listen to that. It's in my uh in my map editor help playlist. You can check that out. Alright, so what am I doing here? I'm just uh Defending against the Zerg, right? So, Kerrigan, the Vultures are going to be good against early Zergling attacks. We're going to set up tanks here. We're going to set up tanks here. If we could consolidate defense against the Protoss and this area, that would be nice. I'm more concerned about the Zerg than I am against the Protoss, though I am terrified that if uh, the Protoss want to bring Reavers against me, um, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a big problem. I truly hate Reavers. I hate when the AI can have Reavers. I don't particularly even care for using them. I don't like them. I just don't like them. If you watch my original Mass Recall, uh, if you watch my original Mass Recall version, then you know that. I, I just don't like them at all. Uh, lost one Vulture. Where did these even come from? Did they just walk in my base, or did they get dropped? I don't even know where those came from. All right, so let's set up some tanks down here. Absolutely. Probably against this wall, and we're going to get uh, an, a bunker right up against it. So we'll be covered from our, our angles down here. Don't stop making marines for this for this moment. We're going to get academies, and then we need more tanks. And then once we have, I would say, four to five tanks all around my base. So I would need, like, two tanks here and three tanks up here plus a bunker or maybe two. Start throwing down some missile turrets. That's when we're going to start really focusing on getting battle cruisers. Another way to look at it, though, is the faster you can get battle cruisers, you can utilize those to help you defend your base. So I suppose we might as well go ahead and throw down our starport again, because the faster you can get those, the you'll have a little less trouble holding out because you can use those battle cruisers to great effect, very very great effect to hold out, which is great. I like this little pile of crap right here. These uh, these little cinder blocks because they are gonna stop this tank from getting surrounded by zerglings which is gonna be very important unless you can just walk right through them I should probably check I hope you can't okay you can't so that tank is actually very well defended where it is right now actually works out very well you just got to use the terrain to your advantage in those specific situations uh, I need an engineering bay I don't have I don't have a lot of room there's also an expansion I'd like to go and take okay so let's uh, let's move my tanks up in this direction Get another tank and then get a bunker. Probably just one. I'm actually gonna move this tank back a little bit. And the reason being is I don't wanna fight the I don't wanna fight the Zerg on the ramps. I want them to come down the ramps. If they wanna come at me, they need to go they need to go down the ramps. I don't wanna be facing a mischance. Though some people have been saying that the mischance hasn't been reproducible in mass recall, so it's possible I don't even have to worry about that. Alright, so this is set up. Uh, fire bats in the bunkers could be good. Could be, but isn't necessarily. All right, so let's uh, let's get a depot right here to defend me against Zergling surrounds. Even though it seems like they can go through that building a little bit, but that's not a big deal. Let's go and get our control tower and then a science facility. Can we afford it? Again, the sooner I can get like one or two battle cruisers out, the better shape we'll be in. I think. Hmm. I think right, right there is the best we can do. Like I was saying, the, the Zerg attacks are are pretty frequent. Uh, they're not easy to deal with. And it seems like the Zerg attack me more than the Protoss do. So I'm going to go ahead and get another another tank down here. And then we want to get more tanks set up up here. And then I think I'm in good shape. Where's Kerrigan? I could put her in a bunker, but that's actually kind of risky. Okay, U-238 shells is going to be next. I've got my science facility coming up. Uh, I need to get units, enough units that I can comfortably go and take that other expansion. So I need to get a small group of marines and medics. 
And then probably Kerrigan. I can get a second bunker probably right here. Probably down here just a little bit. This would also cover me from Mutalisks that want to come down here. I, have I gotten an... I didn't get an engineering bay. I need to be able to make turrets. So an engineering bay back here. We have a little more space here behind these buildings than it appears, so that's good. Okay, let's get this. Sounds like the Protoss are coming at us now. Honestly, fire bats in these bunkers would not be a bad choice against uh, fire uh, against uh, zealots for sure. Okay, so now we have a small force of marines. Let's go ahead and throw them in this bunker. Let's let's finish loading up these bunkers, and then we're gonna start pumping out everything that we need to deal with. Well, not deal with the Zerg, but start uh, moving out towards where we need to go. So I'm expecting an air attack any moment now. Actually, there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, let's get more depots, and let's get infantry weapons, and let's start getting turrets in random places. Just all around. Again, I want to use these turrets to go in places where I expect to get hit with air attacks, but I'm not sure. Just so that they can buy time for my units to react. Okay, so my, my science facility's done. We need a, a, a physics lab. I think right there is as good as it's going to get. And let's start making marines and just a couple medics and Kerrigan. And we're going to use them to go down and take our, our second base. I'm feeling like I have a very good start here. We're already having our physics lab come up. I'll be able to get start my first battle cruiser, which again I can use to defend myself. So, did I just quick save? I don't even remember, so I'll do it again just in case. And uh, let's get a, let's get two medics and then a small group of marines with Kerrigan. That should be that should be good. Might as well load this area up with supply depots where we can fit them. I'd really like an armory as well. Eventually we'll get mined out here and we'll we'll be able to utilize the space a little bit better. But it's just it's challenging because there's just no room. Uh, I think over here for an armory we need at least one armory. I'd prefer two, but I can't afford them. All right, and I, I'm not joking around with the turrets. We are going to make a lot of them. Um, see here, now come the Zerg down this ramp. And look at how large these attacks are. This is very, very, very large. Let's see if we can get this SCV in here to repair this bunker. And they're only going to get bigger, so I think even more tanks would be preferable. So let's go ahead and get turrets down in this direction. And let's even get another tank. I think we're just going to need a lot to defend ourselves. I'd like more barracks, but I have nowhere to put them. Basically, once I take this base, I'll be able to secure this whole area in between, and I'll be able to make production buildings there instead. All right, first battle cruiser coming up. Here come Zerglings. They're actually splitting. It seems like this Zergling attack is fairly persistent and small. It's not that big, and uh, unless it ramps up, I don't think I'm going to have too much of a problem. Start weapons, level one. Here come the Mutalisk attacks. Pretty much where I expected them to be, actually. Um... Where do I want to put this tank? I don't want it to impede my SCVs being able to get in and repair bunkers either. Okay, this is going very well. We want to get just a lot of SCVs in here to repair constantly. And let's get a control... not a control tower. A commsat station. Alright, engineering bay coming up. First battle cruiser coming up. These marines are just about done. So let's take this group and start pushing out down in this direction because I would very much like to take the mineral patches down here. We're gonna need them, and I also need to save up my gas, because I need gas to... I need gas if I want to be able to uh, make more battle cruisers, and I'm gonna need probably eight to nine battle cruisers to wipe this map. I could probably do it with less, but that's just about the amount that I would expect. Okay, so command center here, and the Zerg attacks that were coming here, we could probably expect to come and attack our other areas. Okay, let's get vultures down there too. We have well, we have one vulture. I'm trying to get down there. The protests have pushed through. Let's see if we can run these tanks away before they die. Probably not. Run friends. This is probably okay. Well, I blocked myself in. This is probably why I should have put a fire bat in those in one of those bunkers. Look, they're leaving. Are they retreating? That's the okay. That's the building that they can walk. That enemies can walk through. Run friend. Lure them into the bunkers. And we're going to need more tanks. Okay, no problem. And, you know, I didn't have any SCVs repairing down there, so that was kind of the that was kind of the deal. This is getting set up, and I think I'll only need one or two bunkers down there. I think it'll be fine. Keep making Marines. My first battle cruiser is done. Cancel those Marines, or some of them at least, to get my second battle cruiser. 
Okay, and we definitely need more defense down here. If that's what the Protoss are coming at me with, I need to be prepared. Better prepared, I should say. I could probably wall myself in because I'm not going to be leaving with ground units. I'm just not, so I think that'll be fine. Get fire, like two fire bats, and then we just want to reset up these tanks. And we're going to start running out of space here very, very, very soon. Okay, so now we can start saturating these minerals. I'd like, well, no, okay. Well, we will, but I'd like to make at least a bunker, because this is what I expected to happen. But it's all, it's all Zerglings. Right, right, right. I'm surprised that they're just, they just said that there and not earlier. So I think this is the safest place for Kerrigan to be, unless the Protoss redirect and go down there, and I would really, really hope not. Okay, large attacks, large attacks. So that's why I made those missile turrets, and we're going to need more of them. So let's, let's do it. Let's make more turrets. We're going to need them, and we can actually use the turrets to block. We can use the turrets to block interestingly enough. So let's get more SCVs up over here and try to replace the ones we've lost. Uh, I'm not, I was tempted to scan the Zerg base, but I don't want to risk my tanks being able to shoot any of the buildings, because if I destroy any of the buildings, the mission ends. In defeat, that would be a nightmare. Okay. So this is fine. We just leave one SCV here to repair against that amount of, uh, that amount of, what am I thinking? That amount of, uh, Zerglings. We should be fine, unless they redirect a large amount of units down here. But that's why I'm quick saving a lot, because if that happens, I mean, I can't I can't plan for it. I mean, I can, but I would over plan and it would be a waste. So I'm not going to do that. What I can do down here, though, is make some more production, make supply depots where I'm missing it. So let's get another second armory down here. I can't really afford to use it yet, but I will once this gets fully saturated. We're still in good shape, it's just... These attacks are scary and they're they're huge, so... Okay, so we have three tanks now. Let's not stop making marines to fill up these bunkers with. We need four more, three more, really. Okay, let's spread the fire bats out. And with the amount of zealots coming in, we should be fine. We have a second, we have like a backup bunker here that's not necessary, but... Okay. Let's move these down, and we're going to make depots down here. And probably, like, one turret, just in case. Again, I don't know... Okay, now we've got... Now we've got what we need. Did those scouts really just destroy a bunker? Okay, that's a lot of scouts. Uh, battle cruisers don't. Back up. Very, very, very large attacks here. Let them attack the, the bunker. Okay, slowly but surely. And we're gonna have to remake this stuff. Pretty, uh... Pretty large, I mean, very large scout attack. I did not expect that at all. Okay, so let's let's remake our, our bio to put inside the bunkers. Hop on in, friend. And then we will repair We will repair this stuff as necessary. Keep making SCVs. Pull this stuff down here. What's, what's coming? Yeah, this is exactly what I expected. It's just that amount of crap. It's not a lot at all. So we should be fine. This base should be safe. Let's start plus two weapons. Let's get more battle cruisers. Additional and we need depots. Okay. Required. That's okay. So keep this repaired up. These units are here to defend. I mean, it's mostly Kerrigan, and she can take a beating too. So now that we've confirmed that those Zerg that Zergling attack is pretty much confined to that area, we should be fine. Okay, you guys move away. Get these SCVs down here. And we should be in good shape. I would really like to get vehicle weapons, too, but I just can't. I mean, I can. I just can't. I don't know what I'm thinking. I, I can't afford it. I mean, I can't afford it, but I can't. It's hard It's hard to describe. I want to, but I just can't. All right, this is definitely fully saturated. There is a, another geyser over here, but the Protoss tend to attack it. They'll divert and attack you over there, and I'd really rather just not deal with that. So for now, I am not going to bother with with any of that. What I'm going to do is throw down some turrets here, because I see that we have space, because apparently those scout attacks are coming at us. This should this should divert those scout attacks. Let's go ahead and get Behemoth, or it's Colossus Reactor in this one. Colossus Reactor and Yamato Gun. It's not Yamato Cannon, it is in fact Yamato Gun. And I would love another starport, which I can probably build over here now. 
Actually, no, because I, I won't have the gas to make more if I wanted to. So, really, I just need to make more depots and just wait. So, this is what I mean by the, this mission taking longer than it needs to, because at this point, now we're just waiting. We're, we're just sitting here, sitting on our hands as we wait for battle cruisers to build, because we don't have enough gas to get more. And that's literally what this mission's going to be, for the most part. That's all it is. We're going to have, we have so many extra SCVs, and that's okay, because we're going to use them to repair later. Just queue up more and more depots. That should be good. This should be fine, especially now that we're getting plus two. Let's get ship plating level two. And once, uh, once this is done, I would like to get weapons level one. I could get even more armories. I should have moved this a little bit further down. I could have fit two down here. That would have been for the best. Let's get a second commsat station. There's no reason we need to get units down here anyway. Yeah, space is it's definitely cramped. Um, so there's, those zerglings seem to be coming down from here. It's just a programmed consistent attack. Not a big deal. Can also make some supply depots up here to protect the bunker and also give myself some extra supply depots, which we are in consistent need of. All right, next battle cruiser coming on up. We want to divert the battle cruisers to where they need to be. The fire bats, as you can see, are helping immensely against the zealots. So it seems like the Protoss are particularly coming at us with zealots and scouts. So. With, with just zealots and scouts, uh, we have the perfect defense here. We've got fire bats, overlapping fire bat fire in the bunkers, and we have, and we have uh, lots and lots of missile turrets. I could make. What I'm going to do is swap these units out. This is a very very minor thing here, but what I'm going to do is swap these these units out, so that both my fire bats are in this bunker because we're going to block the fire bats from getting over to this bunker anyway. We've got siege tanks here, and we want to make sure that we're repairing these. And we just need lots and lots and lots of SCVs to repair. And that's pretty much it at this point. We just need lots and lots of SCVs. Okay, next upgrade is done. Let's get infantry level three. Research and uh, maybe I don't want infantry level three because I want to be able to queue up my next battle cruiser, and I don't think I'll have enough gas because it's 300. Yeah, let's let's cancel that. Very very tempting to try to go ahead and snag this. I have the money now. I am going. Yeah, if I here's the here's the fear. If I throw this down and I grab the refinery, it's very possible if the Protoss divert their attacks, I'm sort of fucked. I'm not super fucked, but I'm sort of fucked, and I don't really want to risk it. Hmm, it's tricky. Very tricky what I want to do with that. Let's go ahead and get my next battle cruiser. We have four out of, I would say, I would say 10 is the safe number. I would like even more. I would like 12, but 10 is safe. Eight is probably. I would say 6 is necessary, 8 is surplus, 10 is safe, 12 is just hilariously too much. Alrighty. So now we're just going to wait for battle cruisers. At this point, I mean, if, if the enemy attacks weren't large, I feel like I could just make a cut at this point and be like, alright, I'm there, I did it. Uh, but I'm not going, I'm not going to do that, I feel like that would be silly. Um, let's go ahead and scan where, we, where we're going to want to be going. There's two Protoss bases, up here, down here. Which one we attack first, I don't know. Large, very, I guess you can see, very large force, lots of zealots, which is why that overlapping fire bat fire is going to be very, very important to keeping us alive. You know, uh, let's, no, let's swap these out again. Again, very, very minor change that actually can make a difference when you're doing this, is that the zealots go in both areas here. We just want to be prepared, that's all. Uh, will the Zerg have guardians? I don't think so. I think that would be... I think that would be kind of silly, actually, if there were Guardians, because that would require you to fly Wraiths over into their base, which is explicitly where the mission tells you not to go. Uh, I'm not counting it out, though. All right, ship weapons level three. Let's queue up ship plating level three. Our tanks... I have plus one, but it did not apply to my tanks. Alert, alert! Unless it... Wait, it didn't finish yet. It didn't finish yet. I'm a fool. I, look, I looked right at it like a moment ago, too. All right, no problem. Kerrigan down here is doing fine. We'll move her back so that she's kind of walled in with the, uh, with the medics. We have plus three coming out. So basically, once plus three is done, we'll be in a, in a position to immediately then start attacking because we'll have... Well, we have five. We'll probably have, I would guess, seven battle cruisers by the time that we're ready. All right, the Protoss are... I see them attacking through here. They're walking through this building, as we have come to expect. 
Repair the buildings. Our fire bats are just roasting these these zealots. Also, we have our battle cruisers overhead. This was completed, which is wonderful. Uh, actually, I don't even want that because it's gonna block. Let's get two SCVs ready, and hopefully that refinery isn't too close because the extra gas is gonna be hugely helpful. All right, we have the Colossus reactor. We can get our next battle cruiser now, actually. And now that I can afford it, I think I might. Wow, where can I put it? Probably here, down here in this direction. Let's uh, let's grab one SCV and I don't have the gas to do it. Okay, it's no problem. Go ahead and saturate this gas. We need it. All my bases are looking good. I'm doing very, very well. It's just this map is, again, taking longer than it needs to. I would love another starport. Honestly, once this is gone, I could put it right here. So let's uh, let's do it here. A second starport earlier, I think some people might think would have been prudent, but I don't think so just because I couldn't afford to make anything out of it. Infantry weapons level 3 sounds good right now, and then once all this, once these are done, we're going to start leveling up my vehicle stuff. All right. All right, I'm feeling good. We have space down here for depots. This is going to be mined out soon. We're, we're flooded with minerals. It's just gas at this point, and now that we have extra income over here from gas... We're in good shape. This is actually about to be mined out, so we'll mine on it depleted. And a lot of these SCVs we're going to pull off to come over here to repair, because we're going to need them. Could probably... I, I, I don't think it would be... I don't think it would be a silly move to just get a, even another tank to defend against the Zerg. All right. So now we're going to get a control tower here, and then... Next battle cruiser. Base is under attack. So, pretty much, it's the Mutalist count. As the Mutalist count gets higher, that's what's going to allow them to push through my defenses a little bit easier each time. We don't have any sort of splash damage air. Okay, so let's just, let's queue up all of these. Siege this up. Silly Zergling attack coming at us again. I don't think that's ever going to pose a huge problem. I could wall this in entirely, but I don't really want to draw them towards this command center. It seems like this command center and refinery are in just the perfect place to not be bothered right now, which is how I like it. Okay, two more battle cruisers coming up. That's going to be eight, which is my... Well, no, six was my requirement. Eight is the superfluous, which I think is the number I want. I could even wait until 10. Getting vehicle weapons level 2 seems very prudent right now. Going a little overboard with defense, but again, mass recall, and I've said this before, but mass recall in hard mode, it's all about surviving the enemy attacks and building up that attack force, which is exactly how I'm playing. This is like, exempl this exemplifies how I think mass recall should be played. Not necessarily building up to T3, but building an attack force while being having a solid defense, because the enemy attacks are just so terribly relentless. They will just annihilate you. So you want to be, you want to make sure that you are prepared and ready because I might move out with these battle cruisers and then get rolled over. I might just get rolled over on by the enemy. Uh, there's, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to react fast enough. Battle cruisers are slow and I'd be in major trouble. So that's why you got to be mildly prepared. All right, now we have all these SCVs. We're just going to send them all over here to be ready to repair and down here to be ready to repair when necessary. Lots and lots of scouts coming up from this direction. You know, the fact that this scout is this scout attack is coming over here is good because that means that their base is probably cleared out of scouts. All right, we have eight. I'm thinking it's about that time. We're 3-3, three, three, aren't we? So let's quick save and get going, and I'm going to keep making more battle cruisers. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to make sure we keep rallying, and we're going to move these battle cruisers back home later. Okay, we're flying through a building right now. That doesn't seem quite right, but that's okay. Uh, they don't have plus three attack, which means that we are we have an upgrade advantage. I forget what I was talking about before I flew through the building. Anytime there's tall buildings in StarCraft 2, you can almost expect it. Oh, I like the cannons. I like the old cannons. Oh, fuck you, Reaver. Kill him. Immediately spawned, immediately dead. All right, let's get rid of these starports. Stargates. Because they are spawning the thing that causes me the most the most trouble. Eventually, I'd like to move a small force out here and clear the way so that I can get SCBs up here to repair my battle cruisers. I might just send them home. Ooh, I like those probes. Those reskin probes look awesome. Oh, those look cool. Okay, I should be using Yamato. I got. I don't want to forget that I have Yamato. Okay, let's queue up more battle cruisers. 
Okay, and as we can see, the probes are trying to rebuild, so that's why I'm slowly gonna push my way through this base. I have very, very tanky battle cruisers that can take the hits. So we can just slowly wipe out everything. And as we come across more and more cannons, we'll make sure to just Yamato them instead. But we're definitely we're definitely on the upswing, and this is going to take pressure off of my base from the Protoss attacking me. It looked like maybe I'd hit a point in the mission where they're going to start sending Reavers. So I'm glad that we attacked when we did, because the fact that they were building a Reaver at that base, um, it horrifies me, to be honest. Because here's the thing, that enemy, the, the Protoss had no reason at all no reason whatsoever to want to build Reavers unless they were going to add them to an attack wave. Because I had not killed any Reavers. Again, so to me that means that they were going to add it to an attack force. And no siree will I allow that. It seems like their main attack waves come from up here and not down here. Unless there are two separate waves of Protoss that are coming at me. And it didn't seem like it. So I suppose uh, taking out this base first is the most prudent thing to do. I've been saying prudent a lot this map, I feel. I feel like I've said it at least three times. Don't rebuild this shit. So the enemy is very, very keen on rebuilding on this map. It's a big pain in the ass. Uh, just get used to it. You want to be mildly prepared because you're going to come down here and destroy this base, and sure enough, they will have sent a probe up to rebuild stuff up here, which is all, is exactly what they're doing already. So we want to move a couple cruisers back here to either to cut off the probes and destroy the buildings as they're making them. What did they make down here? Just one pylon. Okay. Okay, one base down, a second one to go, and we need to survive the, the Zerg attacks. Now, I think, you want to keep in mind, I think that Kerrigan can still die when the Zerg are attacking. So I actually like to bring my battle cruisers all the way back home just to sit, because I don't want to lose Kerrigan in the last big, the last big attack wave. I guess semi-spoilers, right? But I don't want to lose Kerrigan in, in the inevitable last attack wave. It's kind of cool you see the destroyed buildings here. It shows, like, the Protoss have destroyed some of our buildings on their way here. So let's just follow the road so that we can cut off any reinforcing units. Because all of these units, all these pre-placed units seemingly have a bully trigger. All right, there's a shuttle. All right, not too many... I was going to say, maybe the probes are going to go that way, which would be bad. Uh, not too many Dragoons. Dragoons are going to be what do the most damage to us next to Scouts, but we just took out, I think, the majority of their Stargate production. They keep wanting to send these probes. It's very possible they've already sent a probe up there. They've snuck it by me. Very, very possible. By getting rid of these units, we're going to force them to build units to replace them as opposed to add them to attack waves. So it's really just, it's, I mean, I would say this for any campaign, but especially custom campaigns, is just understanding how the AI functions is your first big step into performing well. Also being a good player. But I, one thing, one testament that I like to, to make is that I'm not a great player. I don't think I'm a great player. I think I'm a, an average, me I might be a slightly above average player. And uh, the fact that I understand how the AI works on a lot of these custom maps is why I'm able to succeed on higher difficulties. Okay, again, they keep wanting these. They keep wanting to send the probes. We're killing all of them because if they lay any down any extra buildings, I'll be really, really, really unhappy. So let's just keep going. Yep, get rid of that. And we're, we're very safe from Protoss attacks. It's really just Zerg attacks. And at this point, Kerrigan's in a safe place. And we should be fine. So we're going to kill everything on our way, being very, very thorough. And we have arrived. Let's see, more, more probes. I will not hesitate to Yamato a probe if it seems to be getting away from us. And you know what? How about this? Fuck you, Reaver. Oh, that was very satisfying. All right, get the probe. Okay, and now, it, like, clearly we've won, right? Now it's just a victory lap of completing this. It's, it's just making sure that no probe gets through to cause me to waste more time. That's pretty much it. So let's just auto attack through the pylons. Yamato, Yamato, kill the probe. We're going straight for the Nexus so that they can't get any more probes out because they're just consistently building. Let's keep an eye out for a spawning probe. Okay, wonderful. 
And that should be it. Now we just have to actually destroy all the buildings. And there's no resistance left on this map. I mean, except from the Zerg, who are going to roll over us here momentarily. But let's go ahead and destroy this. We could we could go and take one of the Protoss bases, but that's not necessary. I also may... Uh, I'm not going to. Let's... In my last playthrough, you can go check it out, my original Master Recall playthrough. I sent all my battlecruisers home just to just to show, like, in my canon, Kerrigan survives because she had a fleet of battlecruisers there waiting for her, and you could see the Zerg weren't able to really push through my defenses. But we'll, you know, we'll just let my battlecruisers stay far out of here and, and let the Zerg destroy me, unfortunately. I will quick save before it, just in case something truly terrible goes wrong. We've wiped all the Protoss out. Okay, they have rebuilt. They must have a starport. They must have a stargate up there. Hilarious. Oh no, that was it. Okay, great. That was it. So let's start get, trying to get the trying to get our our battle cruisers back home. Oh good, and it instantly ends. So you can't lose Kerrigan accidentally. Receiving incoming transmission. This is Kerrigan. We've neutralized the Protoss, but there's a wave of Zerg advancing on this position. We need immediate evac. Belay that order. We're moving out. What? You're not just gonna leave them? All ships, prepare to move away from Tarsonis on my mark. Uh, boys? How about that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now! Commander? Jim? What the hell is going on up there? The battle cruisers have returned. Kerrigan lives. <laughs> That's great. Okay, what a treat. In the next mission, we're going to be hitting the finale of Rebel Yell, and it is a tough mission. A 79% survival rate is pretty darn good. I think I handled my defenses just right that map. The protest broke through one time, and then I said, hey, let's get some fire bats, and it worked out great. All right, this has been Jay Barino. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying this series. I sure am. we got a long way to go. we got... One mission and five more campaigns to go, and I, I just love, I love Mass Recall. I love it so much. Every time I play it, I get a, I get a kick out of it. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye now.